Hello everyone. Today's story is called Pip and Posy, the Christmas Chewy. It is a special request from a little girl in Scotland who's called Amy. Thank you Amy so much. You are the first person to send us a request. We were so excited. Well here goes, hope you enjoy it. Pip and Posy are best friends. It was a quiet winter morning. All you could hear were the birds chirping and the crunch, crunch of Pip and Posy's wellies in the thick layers of snow, pulling along their wonderful Christmas tree. When they arrived home, they put the big tree in a pot, in a big red pot with a big blue bow. Hmm, they looked at the tree. It looked rather bare, they thought. So they decided that they'd bake some biscuits to hang on it. They decorated the biscuits as best as they could. And the five biscuits looked really pretty hung up. Posy went to get four candy canes to hang up on the tree. But when she came back, one of the biscuits was missing. That's odd, she said. There were five biscuits, but now there are only four. Pip just looked at her, didn't say anything. So while he hung up the candy canes, Posy went to find the chocolate bells. But when Posy came back, she noticed that one of the candy canes was missing. There were four candy canes, she said, but now there are only three. <laughs> Pip just looked surprised at Posy. So Posy went to get the Christmas star, whilst Pip put the chocolate bells on the tree. But when Posy came back, she saw that all the decorations had completely disappeared. <gasps> oh dear! she said. Then Posy noticed that Pip was lying on the sofa. Are you okay, Pip? said Posy. Oh no, said Pip. I feel sick. Poor Pip. Posy bought Pip a glass of water. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Posy, said Pip. I ate all the decorations. Yes, I know, said Posy. And so they decided to go outside for some fresh air and Pip soon felt a bit better. They had a snowball fight. They even built a snowman that looked a bit like a rabbit and a bear. But when they came back home, the tree looked rather bare. Shall we make some paper decorations now? said Pip. That's a very good idea, said Posy. So they made paper chains and stars and hearts to hang up on the Christmas tree. After they had finished, the tree looked amazing. Early next morning, Pip and Posy found presents under the Christmas tree. And so they decided to open the little ones first. Posy's present was a nice new pair of spotty scissors and Pip's was a lovely rainbow toothbrush. That's just what I need, said Pip. Hooray! Happy Christmas, Pip and Posy. The end.